think everyone's getting pretty pumped. And now that we've got beer, get a bit of music happening, set the mood. Start to get the vibe. With debauchery quite a new experience, our housewarming students are feeling the pressure. All day it felt like Christmas Eve. <laughs> I, I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> oh, it just feels like Christmas when I was about seven. <laughs> don't get it right in the middle. I don't really, you don't want to? No. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Liz, you look gorgeous. They all look gorgeous. Oh, no speck. Oh, and they will, amazing. until about the fourth lemon so rusky. Straight, that, and look, the party's starting already. <laughs> we have a guest. Who? Bradley! Hi, Brad. Excellent, we've got one person coming. Kate isn't into this party at all. She's already spat the dummy. So gold, silver and bronze. It's the day before the Fun Olympics and the nerve tonic hasn't even been opened yet. But that doesn't mean Annette isn't nervous. Yeah, I think you're all organised, but... Do you think you're actually going to enjoy tomorrow? I mean, you're sort of the main person behind all this. I mean, you're going to be able to relax and actually have a good time? Yes, you Yeah. Do. yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. worst is over. I'll pump a full Valium. A Valium sandwich. <laughs> of course, at any Olympics, drugs are an issue. Random drug test it is. Random. So what, you've got to carry your little cup around with you all day? Yeah, when you first come? I think you register yeah, it. Yep. Who's going to stop him from swapping the well, vagina you're on bottles? Vagina might bottles. <laughs> Mum! Sorry. This is no ordinary house. It's a very open house. It's never dull. Oh here. my god. Well, the costumes starting with the letter B are on. And the housewarming party is starting to hum. What are you guys? Bacchus, the Roman god. Alcohol. Of alcohol. Well, Bacchus has come to the right place. Many of the people here will be paying him tribute by destroying several million brain cells that would have been handy during the next exams. As the house descends into chaos, Kate descends into depression. Look at this mess already. Come. Oh, Shit, me off. Soon everyone reaches that woozy nirvana of cheap alcohol hitting empty stomachs. Kate finds another use for her dummy. Practice, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. After a bit of an I dream of genie moment, Kate and Jess find a quiet place to talk about true love. He told me nice things. He said, he said, um, all <laughs> guys say nice things because they want to know. Okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't give that to him. <laughs> good um, girl, good girl. Kate could hear breaking glass through six feet of concrete and she's there in seconds. Somebody break glass. Was it mine? That was a house member. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I'm clearing away. Right now, it's really going off at the Armenian school party. Ah, the boundless energy of youth. Andrew's poised to give his true love her gift. Wait until some nice music comes on. Oh my God, your hair is so hot, man, Belinda. It is hot stuff. My favourite guy, you know. Really? My hair just up. Andrew's left to practise his mating display with the other young bucks, while in the war room, the painful truth comes out. Are you serious about it? What? Nah, I really want to. Nah, it's just for the formal. We're using it for the formal. Exactly. So far, so good. That's the main thing. Back at the table, it's beginning to look like the Last Supper and Andrew's last chance. He seizes his moment. I promise you first that you, that you won't. I swear to God. You've got to give me something. Yeah. Huh? Promise me that you'll take it. Oh, yeah. The lights are dimmed and under the romantic gaze of the mirror ball, the gift of love is finally offered. While one of Andrew's friends provides a poignant, 
tone deaf serenade. How are you? I feel like eternity. I'm begging you, begging you, please come to me. doesn't know what she thinks. And to find out what she thinks she thinks, we have to go back into the toilets. It doesn't make me feel nice. It does, but... Um... So oh. Thank you, and he shouldn't have, and he goes, yeah, you're important. I'll go, you shut up. <gasps> you don't want to be important? Yeah, but, like, it just spoils me too much. And I don't like that. So while Belinda tries to contain her excitement, Andrew is sure that one day true love will win out. She's the one and only, isn't she? Coming up after the break, the kids at the housewarming learn to share their lollies. <laughs>